All right, everybody, we're going to talk about how to make the ball and cup game on the lathe. First, once you get your blank, this is like a two inch by two inch by eight inch block. We have to draw an X on each side from corner to corner so we know where the center is so we can get it mounted on the lathe correctly. This also is going to tell us where to drill the hole. So the ball is an inch Forzner bit that's going to make the hole is one and one eighth inch. When using the drill press, make sure you go to speed that you get the wood shavings coming out, not just dust and smoke going too slow. So you see I, there's a lot of curls coming out. That's good. Going in about an inch, an inch and a half into the wood. Now hammer the spur bit into the other end of the block so that we can mount this on the lathe. Spur bit goes in the headstock. Slide in the tailstock. Make sure that's locked. Tighten up the live center and make sure that's locked. Now this can't go anywhere. Next, going to set up the tool rest. And just to get it round, I'm going to start with the, the gouge. Patience. Just slowly chipping away at those corners until this becomes a cylinder. I'm curving the gouge just a little bit so the wood chips don't come straight back at me. They off in the direction that you're curving the gouge. I'm using my knuckle to gauge the distance from the wood so that I can get a consistent cut across the whole piece. turning off the lathe every now and again to check how round it is. I'm ready to move on to the upper section. Again, just slowly chipping away at those corners. Now it's really important to remember in this section, there's a hole there. So just want to get that upper section round, but not any farther than, than that, because then the wall around the hole will still be like an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch. So really, being diligent to check and make sure that once it's round, that's as far as you go. you can hold the gouge overhand like this or underhand like you saw earlier just making sure you keep that consistent angle and that it's perpendicular to the wood still not quite round one more to go
Now I'm using a parting tool to just marking out where I want the, the design to start. So from this line to the right is not going to change. That's just going to be a cylinder because that's the upper part of the, the project. And below that mark will be the rest of the design. This is a round nose scraper. And now I want to make this a smaller diameter handle, so I'll use the round nose scraper to cut in as deep as I want to go. I'm just using the flat edge of the V-scraper and the skew to make sure that it's just nice and straight. when I take it off the lathe to sand off the part, cut off the part that has the holes in it from the spur bit. So I want to put some little beads in the center here. I'm trying to feature how you can use all the different tools. So I'm using the parting tool to cut in to a consistent radius on the inside. Just making a bunch of grooves. using the calipers to just make sure that the radius is equal.
here I have my basic shape pretty much done. I'm going to take the skew and rock it back and forth to kind of make the beads have a rounded top. So they're not so sharp. As the parting tool cuts in, it's going to leave a sharp corner there. So this just rounds it over. turning clean up sweep up some of the dust so it's a little easier with the tool rest out of the way and I got a clean workspace now we're gonna move on to sandpaper I got the dust collector set up just above the wood to make sure that that pulls up all the dust and I got the sandpaper folded over and remember keep it moving so that you don't cause too much friction and burn your hand or the wood or the sandpaper and wear it out See, it makes quick work of sanding all those rough edges out and then folding over the corner to get into those little grooves and to smooth out those rounded corners that I used the skew for earlier. Even here, you gotta keep the sandpaper moving so don't burn it. I actually think I started with 150 here because I didn't want to take off too much material. Low grit, it will sand fast, so with a finer grit you're just cleaning up all the tool marks and wood chips. all done. Loosen up the tailstock, slide it back, just pull it off the spur bit. Next we need to attach the ball and the string, so I'm going to drill right through the center of the ball. hole in the side of the cup. Now we're going to take the string. I'm going to speed this part up a little bit because this can be a little frustrating and take some time and patience. a knot can easily go through the hole so 
putting a piece of tape around the string gives me something to tie the knot around and then it makes the knot bigger so it doesn't come through the through the hole and pull out did that on both the cup and the ball and we're done enjoy everybody <laughs>